Hello, my little woolly. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to knit a super cute stitch called the zigzag seed stitch pattern. It's another of those stitch patterns that only require knitting and purling. You don't have to increase or decrease. You don't have to slip stitches. Pretty simple stitch, great for beginners. I think it's a lovely pattern for a big garment, big piece, like a blanket or a sweater or cardigan. And this is the other side of the work. So if you are going to knit something, for example, a scarf, something that needs to stay flat, please think of adding a nice edge on each side of the piece. And I would suggest the seed stitch because it will match perfectly. It's quick and fun to knit and to see the zigzag effect, I think you have to repeat the pattern at least three times. Okay, so grab your needles, a little bit of yarn, and let's get busy. First, we need to cast on multiples of 11, for example, 11 times 2, 22, close to stitches, edge or selvage stitches. I'm going to cast on 11 plus 2, 13. First row, right side of the work. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, and here comes the repeat. The repeat is what you will find between asterisks in the written instructions. Remember, you can find my patterns on my website so woolly.net and there is a link for you below this video in the description box. So the repeat is net one, row one, net one, row one, net one, for one, so knit and purl three times, knit five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the repeat. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one. But only on this first row, I like to work the last stitch through the back loop so knit the last one through the back loop. This way we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row, we start with knit one, the edge stitch, and here comes the repeat. Four, four, one, two, three, four. Knit one, pour one twice. So knit one, pour one, Net one, pour one, twice. Now net one, pour two, one and two. That's the repeat. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with net one, the edge stitch. Row three. We start with net one, the edge stitch. And here comes the repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, four, one, knit one, four, one, knit one, four, one, and knit three, one, two, and three. That's the repeat. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with net one, the edge stitch. Row four. We start with net one, the edge stitch, and here comes the repeat. Four, two, net one, four, one, Net one, pour one, net one, and pour four. One, two, three, 
and four. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one, the edge stitch. Now, row five. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, and here comes the repeat. Knit five, one, two, three, four, five, and now we're going to pour one, knit one, three times. So, pour one, knit one, once, pour one, knit one, twice, and pour one, knit one, three times. That's the repeat. It's starting to show. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one, the edge stitch. Row six, knit one, the edge stitch, and here comes the repeat. Purl two, one and two. Now knit one, purl one twice. So knit one, purl one, knit one, pour one, and knit one, pour four. One, two, three, and four. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one, the edge stitch. Row seven, we start with knit one, and here comes the repeat. Knit three, one, two, three, and now we're going to pour one, knit one twice. So, pour one, knit one, pour one, knit one, and to end the repeat, pour one, knit three, one, two, and three. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left, ending with knit one, the edge stitch. Eighth and last row. We start with knit one, the edge stitch, and here comes the repeat. Four, four, one, two, three. Four, and now knit one, pour one twice. Knit one, pour one. Knit one, pour one. Ending with knit one, pour two. One and two. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left. Ending with knit one. There you have it. These eight rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off, working each stitch as it presents after row seven. That means facing the wrong side of the work. So this is everything for today, my little Willy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and happy knitting!